All right, time for a quick video about the blue super set because people already responded. So if you haven't done the jail, then you're in luck because this is, this is a foolproof, easy way to do it. You hop in the jail, you would enter. The layout's the same, so you can follow the path. You jump over this wall. You hug the right. You jump on the rubble over here. And there will be an open air archer at the top. And you would just knock her down to the ground down, down here, away out of range from the archer over there. And then you can just farm her, farm her over and over until she drops the set. Now, if you already did uh, Ordina, which is probably the case for most people, I have a method for that too. Now, for this one, there's three key items you need, or rather two. So the first key item is a beast repellent torch, and you want to put no skill, like the actual actual word, no skill on it. The second item can be the deathbird poker. Uh, it can be plus seven or plus six. That plus six, that's fine. Uh, the requirements are low too, 17 dex, 15 strength, 11 int, that's not bad. Uh, if you don't have the int, just use Renala's crown or drink the physique for plus 10. Uh, the dex, you know, prosthesis, heirloom. And if you don't have any of those and you just need the int, uh, you can use the Demi-Human Queen staff or whatever staff you have. And you want Night Baden's Mist because that's 14 int and that's an easy spell to use. So the Beast Repellent Torch is right here, the Isolated Merchant, uh, Dragon Barrel West, you just go west and buy it. The Deathbird Poker, you go from Church of the Plague, you follow the path south, go past the Troll here, and then kill the Deathbird uh, over the cliff here. You can hang up on top of the cliff and you can't fight back. And then Night Maiden's Mist is Sage Gowie right here, after you help Melissa, you can just buy it from him. Alright, so, uh, if you want to do the Deathbird Poker route, which is pretty fast, but you do, you do need to take hits. Like you know, so if you don't have if you don't have a lot of health, then don't worry about it. And this is why you put no skill on the torch, so you can use the ghost flame instead. So run on top of the albaneric, do L two, and then R one. You want to hit the albaneric down there. There we go. Do the same thing to her. As long as the ghost flame is on top of them. You know, chug up. Yeah, expect to take damage if you do the Deathbird method. And then knock this one down as well. Now keep in mind you yeah, you know, if you don't have bigger then you know, it it you, you probably feel unsafe doing it. Uh good thing the death poker does a lot of damage and it's you know, they can't move so they're just gonna send the AoE. But if you don't have the Vigor or you're not confident enough, then just use Night Maiden's Mist. So Night Maiden's Mist is 14 in. Use any staff. Uh, it can be unupgraded because the scaling doesn't exist. And then just have a, have some throwing knives handy or any ranged weapon handy, a spell or whatever. Because it, it'll almost kill them. So torch out. Have the Night Maiden's Mist ready. And then just throw at her legs. So it's going to poison her slowly. And then you just run away and take cover. The wolf over there can't walk into the mist, so if he does have a backup weapon ready, and just kill him here. But otherwise, he should leave you alone. Alright. So the mist fades after about 1600 damage. Throw it at her feet again. You can also do a much better job of avoiding the arrow. Preferably, you know, toss it after you dodge a shot. Don't be mean, just run in there. But yeah, you shouldn't die from a full volley doing this. So she'll be almost dead. Throw a dagger. Bam. And then do the same thing to the one down there. Like I said, you can do a better job of dodging than I can. Yeah, that wolf shouldn't bother you as long as you have the torch out. Alright. Throw the mist down there at her. The mist is a little tricky to land on the second one because she moves down the cliff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's still getting hit. If she doesn't get hit by the whole thing, then you know you'll be fine. She's almost dead. There we go. And then you, oh, I got the bow. And then you're free to take care of this one. The key is killing those first two because they're the most annoying. And always watch out for the one on the wolf. Uh, she she can patrol to this one in particular. You don't have to worry about her for the other ones. 
All right, well, that's the quick method. Uh, preferably have the Silver Scarab from the hidden path. You jump down to like a hidden, like a literal hidden uh, bridge, and then you grab it. But that's how that's how I farmed it. Um, should be pretty okay. You can use the Silverfoot. The drop rate isn't too low. All right, well, have a good night.